it's day 204. There's been a lot of steady death and the temperature indoors has been around 25 Celsius. It's very steady as long as I don't open that sliding door and let cold air come in during the night. And that's with the air conditioning on. If I don't turn it on, it's usually about 26, 27 Celsius. And during daytime, it hits about 28 to 30 Celsius with sort of a greenhouse effect. So these leaves have steadily died back from where I've trimmed. They're essentially non-functional now. Only the stems are green and continuing to photosynthesize for these plants. So my casual observation is that when the plants sense that a particular shoot system is too far gone, the whole thing dies off very quickly. And what I think is going on is nutrients are being recycled back into the root system. See, Big Bertha here is still fine. It's still pretty green, and that one's pretty green as well. But if you look at that, that fell over in roughly three days' time very quickly. The shoots detach, and you can just remove them. Over here you can see a dead cluster of adult spider mites. Yesterday in the sun I saw a bunch of them crawling around on this one shoot system and I sprayed them with 0.6% hydrogen peroxide solution and it works. It killed them. Most of the shoot systems have been heavily damaged by the spider mite infestation in the preceding months outside. So I think this one could be gone at the apical meristem although everything else seems fine for the time being. I can't remember if this is plant 2 or 3, but two of these older shoot systems are dead. Um, this one that's still kind of standing is on its way out quickly. And it has three younger shoot systems that are kind of barely teetering on the edge. Um, they're somewhat green, but they don't look healthy and they're neither growing nor being cannibalized right away. So I think these will hang on for a while, although it doesn't look good in the long term. This is a symptomatic site of today's youngest generation shoot systems. The top, the shoot apical meristem, basically turns yellow and slowly withers away. This shoot system is still experiencing a little bit of growth. It could potentially make it, although nothing really looks all that healthy at the moment. This one got cannibalized really quickly. It's going to fall over in a few days and just completely detach and just throw it away. Um, this older one is probably gone as well. Um, this one has some promise, you know, but I don't like how the ends of all the new leaves are always, you know, wilted like that. So there's just a whole litany of problems, but I think if any of these four plants can send out some new adventitious shoots, you know, within a three to five centimeter radius to erupt elsewhere, then everything will get back on track. But the question is, do any of the plants besides this one have the reserves to do that? This shoot system that I'm pointing at is one of the newer ones. It's the most promising. It's still growing, although that tip looks a little bit yellow. That kind of worries me. And the existing leaves are small, underdeveloped, and a little bit yellow and frayed on the edges as well. Okay, it's day 210. It's very hot indoors at 4 p.m. It's 28 Celsius. We have this late afternoon sun shining in from a very acute angle through these blinds which block out some of the light and create their own shade and the angled sun is very mild in intensity compared to direct overhead noontime sun so I don't have to worry about any of these shoot systems getting burned this young shoot system never really had any functioning leaves and it fell over it got cannibalized within three days the nutrients just get all sucked out and so does all the moisture. Eventually they just detach after they get cannibalized. You don't have to snap anything or pull on anything. You just throw it away. This is the most promising shoot system that I mentioned last time. Oh, you can see a spider mite crawling on the other stock right behind it. So I sprayed some beta cyfluthrin. I've sprayed plenty of times with hydrogen peroxide, but it's still not enough to kill all the spider mites. So earlier today I took the pots outside onto the balcony, sprayed some beta cyfluthrin in the water trays and also on top of the soil, the leaves, the stems. You know, I just want to make sure as many bugs as possible die. There's a huge fungus snap problem now that I've brought these two pots indoors and that reminded me of why I took them outside in the first place. I know things look very bleak now, but I still think explosive growth will start occurring within maybe two to three weeks so stay tuned